of this video from UWGB Libraries will go over peer-reviewed sources. In this video, we will cover what does it mean when something is peer-reviewed and how to identify peer-reviewed research articles. If you have ever submitted a draft of an essay for feedback to one of your classmates, you have participated in peer review. When something has been peer reviewed, it means it has been given to peers for feedback. In the academic publishing world, peer review is a rigorous, lengthy process. When a researcher submits their work for peer review, they send it into the journal they want to publish in. It is then sent to other experts, such as scientists, doctors, or historians, depending on the field of study, for multiple rounds of feedback and revisions before it can be approved for publication in the journal. This can take several months to several years before it's approved for publication. For this article, the author submitted their manuscript for peer review in October of 2017 and it wasn't accepted for publication until May of 2018. It had several rounds of revisions by the author and it was then finally published in July. Peer review journals require research to go through this process before they approve it for publication in their journal. This is why they are called peer reviewed articles. Only scholarly or academic journals who have peer review as part of the publication requirement can be considered peer reviewed journals. Peer review provides an extra measure to make sure the research that was performed was quality and credible, which is why professors will ask you to use them for your research. This is a really important process, especially when it comes to research in areas like medicine. Doctors want to ensure the experiments and trials were done correctly for the safety of the patients. Not all scholarly or academic journals are peer-reviewed. This is because not every scholarly journal requires peer review as part of the publication process. Because of this, it's important to learn how to identify a peer-reviewed journal when you have an assignment requiring a peer-reviewed article. There are a couple different ways to tell if something is coming from a peer-reviewed journal. Sometimes in the publication information for the journal, it will indicate the publication type and also indicate if the journal is peer-reviewed. Sometimes within the article, it will list its publication history, indicating it went through a peer-reviewed process. If you can't find information about peer review within the article's publication information or in the article itself, you can Google the journal name and check their website. The journal website will typically indicate if they require peer review as part of the publication process for their journal. When using Search at UW in library databases, you will often see a filter for peer review that will limit your search results to sources that appear in peer-reviewed journals. However, when using the peer-reviewed filter, not all results will count as a scholarly research article. You might come across things like letters to the editor, book reviews, or editorials that will not count as a scholarly source or meet the peer-reviewed requirement. This article here is a good example of something that appears in a peer-reviewed journal but would not be considered a peer-reviewed research article. These kinds of sources are usually one to two pages long, rather than a typical research article, which would be at minimum five pages long. After opening up this source, I can see it is a letter to the editor, not a research article. You still need to evaluate the source when you use these filters, remembering to keep in mind the characteristics of scholarly sources. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions about peer-reviewed sources, please contact a librarian by visiting our research help page. Mm -hmm.